Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to recreate the social media layout from our social media pack, so let's check it out. So first off, if you would like to download this title and be able to use it from the edit page and uh, not basically recreate it on your own in Fusion, you can do that by simply clicking the link in the description below. There is a free download that you can start using right now. All right, but without further ado, let's get into it. So we're in the edit page uh, of DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go over to Effect and we're going to bring in a new Fusion composition. So let's just drag that directly onto our timeline and move over to Fusion. So to start off, we're going to need a background. So I'm going to bring first background and we're going to bring the alpha channel down to zero. And then I'm going to bring a second background, link it to the first background. It's going to give us a merge node to link those two together. And now we can just bring that up on our screen by just clicking that little button right here. And now we're going to create the first element, the box. To do that, we're going to click on the second background and we're going to bring a rectangle mask. So let's bring that up. We're going to adjust the width and we're gonna adjust the height to make it like that, perfect. I'm gonna change the color of that background to white. So we're just gonna click right here on background two and change the color to white. Now on this background, there is three things that we want to add. We want to add a profile picture, we want to add the name of the channel, and we want to add the subscriber account. So first off, we're gonna start with uh, the picture. To do that, we're gonna bring a loader. So I'm gonna use shift space to bring the select tool window. And here we're gonna search for loader. And I'm just gonna hit enter to just bring that in. Then we can uh, start and select what we want. So here I'm just gonna bring uh, the logo of this channel. Uh, so I can bring this one, VES. And then we're just gonna link that logo to the output of the merge to create a new merge and bring it in. Perfect, as you can see now we have the logo showing up. Now I'm gonna add between the logo and the merge a transform node. So I'm going to do the same thing, bring the window by opening shift space. And here we're going to look for transform. I'm just hitting transform and I added the transform node between those two. And it's going to enable me basically to resize then the image. Now I'm going to use a mask on the merge right here to create basically the frame around the logo. So we're going to bring an ellipse right here. I'm going to click on ellipse once I've merge selected, I'm just going to bring it below right here. As you can see, just created a mask all around our image to make it round and make it look like a profile picture. Now I'm gonna need to resize this mask. The only issue is that here, if I try to do it manually like that, uh, we don't retain the exact size of the circle and the circle is transforming in an oval shape and not a circle anymore. So let's just go back to that and we're gonna here use an expression to link the width and the height. So let's right click on the width click on expression and here we're going to link the width and the height. So now when we're moving, as you can see, both the width and the height are equal and stay the same and we retain uh, the shape of the circle. So let's size it down like this and put it on the left side. Whatever design you make, try to make sure that you have an equal size on all border. It will make uh, your design look a bit better. So now it's time to reframe our image. So we're going to size down the image to put it in the mask properly. And now let's move it to the side. Let's resize down a little bit more and reframe it properly again. All right, perfect. So now we have our image. It's time to bring in some text. So I'm going to bring two texts because I know already that I'm going to use uh, two texts. So let's bring that in and then we're going to link the first text to the merge and we're going to link the second text to the merge as well. On the first text, uh, first off, we're going to change it to black because we have a white background. So it's just popping properly. And here we're going to write the name of the channel. So video editor studio. And then here I'm going to change to Montserrat. I forgot, but let's select here uh, the merge so we can see everything that is happening on screen. Now let's change the font. So we're going to use uh, Helvetica Neue. Perfect, let's size it down. And something that I usually do because uh, I export most of my design into macro afterward is uh, I make sure to optimize them for the edit page after. So here, uh, if we were to try to position it properly right here, as you can see, and we were to try to add more text, for example, uh, you can see that it's going over this profile picture and that's just not ideal. What we would like to do is here to add an anchor on the left side, so H anchor on the left side. And now we're just going to bring it back in position. And now if we were to add some more text, 
as you can see the text is going to be automatically added on the right side but it's not going to be pushed here over the picture so that's the kind of detail that you need to pay attention when you're going to export macros because uh, that might be you know uh, a bit of an issue to then uh, reposition stuff if you didn't export it the right parameter but anyway let's just delete that perfect now i'm just going to position it properly i think about here i'm fine with that then text two we're gonna uh, change the color for this one i'm gonna choose gray because it's gonna be a subtext so i don't want it to be the same color and we're gonna make it also smaller so right now we have 1.35k uh, subscriber subscribers perfect and here i'm gonna change again the font for helvetica helvetica newe and i'm gonna change it for regular and we're gonna make it smaller because again, it's a subtext, so it needs to be a tiny bit smaller. That's one of the rule of design is that you need to have some hierarchy. You need to have something big, something medium, and something uh, small. Uh, it helps, you know, to read properly the image. So here, you know, your eyes might go firstly on uh, the profile picture, then onto the text uh, that is black and popping up more, and then onto the subscribe account. So that's just like, you know, a quick roll of design. Now, perfect, we've done all first element. I'm just gonna add a transform node so it's easy to move that entire composition. So I'm gonna select the merge for and hit shift space once again, and we're gonna bring in a transform node uh, right here. And now we'll be able, uh, if we want to, to just move it around. And that's probably where we're gonna do the animation. So now let's do the second element of this composition, uh, which is gonna be the banner. So we're gonna use a loader once again. So here I'm gonna hit shift space and I'm gonna search for a loader once more. Here I'm just gonna bring one of four thumbnail. I'm gonna use this one. We're gonna bring a background again and bring the alpha uh, down to zero. And we're gonna link our image to the background with the merge. Let's check on the merge viewer. Here we go, we got it. And uh, basically we're gonna do something uh, very similar to what we've done for uh, the first uh, logo part. We're gonna create a mask uh, and contain the image within a mask. So now we're gonna need to bring a transform node so we're able to move uh, this image around. So we're gonna uh, select the image and then hit shift space, look for transform, and then we're gonna bring a transform in so we're able to move it around. And then here we're gonna use a mask. I'm gonna just copy this exact mask so I have an equal sized uh, shaped rectangle to the first uh, design that we made. So I'm basically gonna uh, take this exact shape to do the mask around this image. So let's just select rectangle one right here, just copy it. And then we're just gonna go here over to merge. I'm gonna just paste it and link it to my merge five. Perfect, and now I'm just gonna go back to the transform and I'm gonna adjust my image. Uh, we're gonna make it smaller, for example, so there is just the shape tutorial text uh, that is showing up like that. I think I'm good with this. Now let's link those two compositions together. So we're gonna uh, take the output of Transform 2 and link it to Merge 5. So now we have the two compositions linked together. I'm just gonna uh, take Transform 2 right here and I'm gonna bring it uh, down. So right here they are linked together and we have them both on screen and that's it we have our final composition now it's time for the animation the animation is going to be very very simple we're just going to use two masks and we're going to anim uh, both of those rectangle shape so here i'm going to add basically a transform uh, between the merge uh, five and the merge six so i'm going to select the merge five and i'm going to hit shift space and here i'm going to add a transform node uh, and I'm gonna basically uh, copy here the rectangle that I've used to use this same rectangle as a mask. So let's just copy it and then we're gonna paste it and we're gonna link it to transform four. So then I'm just gonna extend it like that. And now if I select transform four, we'll be able to hide the shape outside of the mask. So that's what we're gonna use to do the animation. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the second block with the text. So here we're gonna select merge six and we're gonna select a rectangle mask uh, that we're gonna bring. This one, we're gonna just adjust it properly so it fits uh, this rectangle right here. Perfect, now let's just extend it a little bit. And now if we move it around with the transform, 
uh, again, we'll be able to hide it uh, behind the mask. So now that we've just added our mask, it's time to add a couple of keyframes. So I want the animation to last uh, from zero to 25 frames. So let's select 25. And here we're gonna keyframe the position on the transform two and the transform four. So let's go to transform two, uh, add a first keyframe, and then go to transform four and add a second keyframe. Now we're gonna go to frame zero and we're gonna basically hide uh, those two shapes uh, outside of the mask. So here let's hide the banner, just bring it down and hide it uh, outside of the mask. And now we're just gonna select also transform two and we're gonna bring it up and put it basically outside of the mask as well. And so now basically if we play it, we have both shape going outside of the mask. But as you can see, the animation is uh, very not smooth. We're gonna adjust that in a second by using the spline editor. I have a full video on the spline editor explaining you uh, how to use it and how to make your animation smoother with it. Uh, I will link to that video in the description below. But try now, let's just bring the spline editor. Let's bring everything that we added a keyframe, so those to transform. Let's click right here on zoom to fit so we can basically see uh, all the keyframe point that we've added and i'm just gonna select both of them and then we're gonna hit the letter s on our keyboard to smooth out the curve and already we're gonna have a smoother animation but i would like to go a step farther and having uh, something that is even smoother to do that i'm gonna hit the letter t and here I'm gonna click on that lock so the ease in and ease out are all the same. And I'm gonna bring the ease in and ease out to about, I would say, uh, maybe 70. So as you can see, it's basically modifying the curve and uh, the speed of the animation. So here now let's play it. And we got something that is way smoother in my opinion. I'm happy with that. Now, last thing is I want to bring a transform after the merge six. So let's do shift space once again, search for transform. And here we're just gonna bring a transform uh, in the timeline and we're gonna link that transform to the media out. Now we can just uh, select media out to see our entire composition. And basically what the transform node allows us to do is now we can move the entire composition around uh, to put it back into the center right here. And that's pretty much it. That's how we've done this title. Again, if you don't want to bother doing all those things in Fusion and you want to be able to use it directly from the edit page, you can download this exact title in the description below and you'll have access basically here in the inspector to all the parameter and be able to modify all the parameter yourself. This is a title from our social media uh, layout pack uh, that you can find on our website, which is basically a bunch of different assets to replicate uh, Instagram and YouTube posts, uh, Instagram story, Facebook posts, and so on, notification. Uh, there is a bunch of different uh, layout that you can use to basically replicate social media posts. All the links are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.